Absolutely. You know, and it, you see the change in their life. Do we need the Holy Spirit in our lives? Yes. I need him as much today as the day I got saved. Why? Because I'm down here walking. And I'm walking, first of all, in flesh that sin dwells in. And I'm walking in a fleshly, sinful world. And I'm having to deal with people who have that same common sense as these people have. They'd rather beat you or kill you if they can't figure you out or outdo you. And they're not going to outdo the Lord. I'll tell you that right now. We have, Jesus said, you will have tribulation. It's going to come. Don't be surprised. You know, and, and I don't want to go there. Okay, so don't, don't let people tell you. Let the Word of God tell you. Okay, I'll just say it like that. Take every doctrine and compare it to the Word of God in totality. If it matches up, praise God, because they're right on. If it doesn't, kick it out, kick the dirt off the bottom of your feet and let it go. All right? Because I'm telling you, there's a great deception coming. If you've got dirty feet, you're going to have a problem. See? Satan has no, no way of touching you or any control unless you give it to him. How do you give it to him? Dirty feet, dirty hands, dirty, 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 dirty. Okay? Walk in the light. That's what John would tell you. Get clean. Wash your feet. How do you do that? Go before the Lord and repent of those things in your life. And we all have them. That's what Jesus said. You need to have your feet washed. You're clean all over, everywhere else, but your feet's got dirty. You walked in this earth a little bit. So we often need to have our feet washed. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the... God, I just pray that I got across some of the things tonight that's been on my heart, Lord, and then your heart. And I pray, God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, you would touch our hearts. Father, we're not... It's not about gathering. It's not about who people are. It's about you. And it's about your Holy Spirit, what it's really doing inside of us and what we're supposed to be doing. Father, we know it's in love. We know you want to bring us to a fullness in Christ Jesus. Father, we just yield ourselves to you, not our way, but your way, Father. That's my prayer. And I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit would fall even now here in this place. And it would be filled again. And that, Lord, any thoughts and anything that would drive us away or pull us or scatter us, God, that you would give us the power, as you told Cain, say no to it and shut the door. Father, I praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.